today's installment of the Malat Minute, we're going to take a look at the test stand that you see here behind me. And with us to walk us through the test stand is Zane. My name is Zane Lehmans and I'm the service engineer for Malat Company. This is a test stand for our testing uh, crushing equipment. Malat has always had a, a test stand, but we've modified it to accept uh, crushers that have a 10 by 20 foot footprint. This unit has a capacity of 110,000 pounds, so we can run anything up to uh, a fully assembled five and a half silent stone crusher. How does this benefit our customer? And number one, it's cost. Being able to operate this crusher in our facility alleviates any of those what ifs that could happen out into the field. If we're able to test that crusher on our test stand. We will know that it was an operational unit before it left our facility. If the, if the crusher would fail in the field, if the customer chooses to send it back to our facility, there's those transportation costs and also assembly of that crusher. If it leaves our facility in pieces, it's going to need reassembled back in the field. Crane always costs money. Depending on how, long, how far the reach is and where it's being set up, you may need a 100 ton crane or bigger. This is an old HP 500 uh, lubrication and hydraulic. This, this, we use this for all of our applications. We have an adjustable uh, flow valve in order to meet the OEM spec for our Simons cones, HPs, uh, whatever manufacturer recommendation is for the amount of flow that's to properly lubricate that machine. What we have, and we'll be installing a electronic data collection system that's capable of collecting temperatures, vibration, sound, a, a number of electronic sensors will collect that data and we will be able to gather that and collect that into a report that we can use for our customers. What are we looking for when we test the machine? Any issues that could cause any issues in the field. Lubrication, vibration, noise, components interfering with one another, uh, improper gear engagement, and uh, leaks. Of course, that could mean something has not properly been installed, cracks or worn components that will allow uh, lubrication oil to leak past them. Any of those things we would be able to address here in, in our shop. What happens if a machine fails in the test stand? We would immediately investigate what the cause of that was. We would disassemble the crusher and investigate those issues, look, look for any type of uh, worn components, metal and metal shavings in the, in the oil, uh, anything that would show where the problem or what caused the issue to happen. Who runs the test stand? We have uh, very few limited authorized personnel that are qualified to operate the test stand. That's it for the Malat Minute, and we'll see you next time.